Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Uh, today we're taking a look at Batman and King Shark from the Batman Caped Crusader line of 4-inch figures from Spin Master. Uh, someone pointed out to me on Target that it does say Caped Crusader over here on the side. And if you're going to call the DC ones Heroes Unite because of what's written on the side, you know, maybe that's the name of this line. It's written in the same place. And that makes sense. So I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, so thank you. I can't remember who pointed that out to me on Twitter, but thank you. Um... And I had kind of seen that, but I was like, that's kind of just like a generic term for Batman. Like, it's one of his, like, the Dark Knight, the Caped Crusader, you know, one of his various nicknames uh, throughout history. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm willing to go with it because I feel like this line needs a, a name because it's weird to just keep calling it, like, Spin Master 4-inch Batman figures. So I'm going with Caped Crusader. That's what we're going with. In any case, these two are Target exclusives. You may have seen the giant red gaudy sticker right on the front, <laughs> letting you know these are only at Target. Uh, they're variants, but, you know, they're Target exclusive variants, so I decided to do them together in a video. Uh, basically, this is a standalone King Shark if you didn't want the armor, but also this is a Hammerhead Shark as opposed to, I believe the other one is a Great White, more traditional Shark Head, and this one's a Hammerhead, so depending on which shark you like better. But if you do want a standalone shark without the armor, this is the only way to get one. And then we have another Batman, this time done all in black with a gold uh, bat on the chest. This kind of reminds me of like a movie, like maybe 89 Michael Keaton Batman suit. He had the circle bat instead of the big bat, but because all the other ones have this kind of bat, it makes sense. They're doing the Batman figure they've made in this color scheme, but it definitely is making me reminiscent, or I should say making me think of the, like, Tim Burton Batman suit. So that's what I'm going to go with. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead, get these open, and we'll take a closer look. Here are the two figures out of the packaging. We'll start over here with Batman. Like I said, I really like the all black with the gold. Makes me think of the Tim Burton Batman. I will uh, say though that I don't know what's going on with the cape. At first I thought maybe the one side was pulled out too much, but it looks pretty normal there. But you can see like one side's just a little bit longer, so I don't know if it was just cut wrong or if it was put in and assembled incorrectly. It's not a big deal, it's just a little off. Uh, and it's probably just mine, I'm sure they're not all like that, but I just thought it was funny. Otherwise it's the same Batman figure, you know, same articulation, head can move side to side, shoulders, elbows. Uh, hips, thigh, swivel, and then your normal knee joint. So I feel like you guys know the drill with the Batman at this point. I think this marks the seventh, I counted, variant of Batman in this first wave. So we got the Batman. Uh, hopefully wave two sees a little bit less of the Batman variants and, and hopefully just kind of gives us some new characters. I mean, it makes sense. The first wave, have everyone pick their favorite and go from there. Uh, but we, we've definitely seen... I'm counting on my shelf right now. At least one, two, three, four, five, six. I would say this is at least seven. Unless there's one I'm forgetting about. So there it is. But here is King Shark. It's pretty much exactly the same King Shark figure as the one that came with the armor. Just that the head is the hammer head. And you can see the seam where they just attach the different head pieces <laughs> to the same bodies. But I'm fine with it. I really am. I think he looks cool. I like the hammer head as an option for King Shark. And you could always pretend he has like a shark minion if you wanted to use them both. King Shark and Prince Shark. I don't know. Make up something. It doesn't matter. In any case, it's a really cool figure. I like the hammerhead aspect. Very, very neat. Uh, as far as the accessories they come with, they're very generic. Uh, shark comes with this generic gun. This generic gun. And then some more uh, bat armor. All three are done in this same kind of light gray translucent plastic. Nothing we haven't seen before there. Um, Batman comes with the what I'm calling the scissor shield. Because these definitely looks like part of a scissor. Two scissor pieces. Too bad you can't like connect them like this. I guess it actually would be like that. But in any case, then it pops together to make the shield. I like the light blue though. That's fun. Generic neon green... Uh, grapple thing this i believe is the exact same piece that came in that swamp showdown so that's the same but then he also comes with a batarang which we don't have enough batarangs so i was happy to get this that's really cool and then they both come with the exact same mission card because they're fighting each other so it makes sense although you can see the bat is the wrong color it's not quite his outfit 
but King Shark looks pretty good. So, yeah, that's a uh, pretty quick little review of these, but like I said, for the most part, you've seen both of these figures before, you know what the articulation is. But just in case you haven't seen the previous videos, King Shark uh, from the thigh down is one solid piece. But that's for stability. Otherwise, he's got normal shoulders, normal elbows, normal hip, and then thigh swivel. But they're both great figures. I like both of them. So it's really just a question of if you want to be crazy and collect them all, go for it. If you want to just pick and choose your favorites. Uh, but I've really enjoyed the first wave of this line. And I'm really, really excited for what's going to come down the pike in the future. I just hope in the future we, like I said, lay off the Batman variants a bit and give us some new accessories because there's only so many grapple guns and scissor shields that I need. And hopefully for Wave 2 we'll get some new accessories. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Please like, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.